This is our first uh, event uh, with the Smarter Say Sandbox. And what the Sandbox is, it's an opportunity to bring community members into the space of innovation and technology. Uh, understanding that they get to make the decisions about what technology gets implemented, how it gets implemented, uh, which is really cool. I mean, it adds on to the whole value of making sure that as we build the city of the future uh, and as we build all these innovative technologies, community members really have a grasp on it. That really excites me to see the youth taking, taking leadership over that. Smart Cities is uh, really the idea that technology is transforming how we interact with each other and with our urban environment. So we are opening the dialogue up to, uh, to having interactive uh, activities with kids about those ideas. Today I've seen kids as young as four learn how to start coding. That's the foundation for building robotics and technologies of the future. And they're not doing it in a classroom, they're doing it in a public park. Um, so we're teaching them, you know, that you can code anywhere, that you can learn anywhere. Every day is a learning opportunity and we're making that fun and accessible to them. As soon as I saw this event on social media, she, that was the first thing that popped into my head. It's something I need to bring my daughter to so she can be exposed to these types of real world engineering applications. And so she can kind of see what her science and her math that she's learning about in school, like what grownups are doing with those skills. And so I thought it was really really great. We want to empower kids to be agents of change and innovation, to be creators. And, um, so we have a city build activity where kids determine their values, what's important to them and what do they want for the future of their neighborhood, the future of San Antonio. We've got a device called an Ozobot, which is not unlike a smart car in that it's a, it's a little toy that'll roll along, but it follows a kid's coding that is done utilizing uh, color. We want for kids to understand that something like a smart car is coded and programmed and is also responding to stimulus out in the environment that tells it what to do. Uh, what we brought here today is a lot of robots, uh, various 3D printed models, including little rovers and also uh, some drones. We want to make sure that they see things at an early age so they have the time to think about what they could possibly do in the future. So we're only hoping to build more engineers and more scientists. You have these modules, you have these pieces, you put them together, it's basically Legos and, and it'll work. Like for all we know, we have the next, you know, big mind around here and all it takes is somebody to tell them that they can do it and, and they'll get into it, you know. It's a great event. I learned a lot uh, from as far as urban farming to solar panels to artificial intelligence. Anybody who wants to know about sustainable energy or electric vehicles, kind of see how it works. Everybody, when they ride in a Tesla, is a five-year-old. <laughs> Expressions from all people. The children love it, the adults love it, the, the senior citizens love it. It's, it's a great feeling to know that we're helping the environment and ed educating people at the same time. We go out and teach the kids the safety of riding on a VIA bus. And I really enjoy this program because there's a lot of kids that have never rode a bus. Mom and dad always take them to school or they never ride a bus. But today it's been really nice because they've actually got to come in, sit down in the bus, see what it's like and see it's not so bad to ride a bus. For me it's great because when I see them smile or make them smile I know I've done my job. And that's what I enjoy is being able to teach the kids how to ride the bus. So Smart SA is a partnership between the city, the Office of Innovation, uh, and eight other partners that include CPS Energy, VIA, uh, Bear County, among several others. Uh, and the purpose of this partnership is to collaborate uh, on projects that deliver new services and solutions to our residents to improve their quality of life. So my favorite part about these events is seeing youth, seeing young kids come out and not only see cool technology stuff, but understand that they get to dictate what that means to them in their city of the future.